How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. So today I'm going to be reading through One Piece chapter 1066. And I already know that this is going to be a good one because the way the last chapter ended, 1065, freaking massive cliffhanger. So it turns out, as we read in the last chapter, it turns out that the island of Egghead, right? Egghead Island. Frankie was all like, oh, you know, this island's so cool, it's so advanced, futuristic. And then Dr. Vegapunk, number one, I believe, Shaka, Vegapunk Shaka, he was all like, no. He was like, no. Would you believe me if I told you this is an island of the past? And then we got uh, a scene cut to Luffy, Bonnie, and Jinbei running, like, coming across a giant robotic suit of armor. I, was, it a, was it actually... A suit of armor or a robot? I don't know. I'm going to say it's a robot, right? So they come across this massive thing. Like a massive robot that is uh, rusting. You know, it's rusted. It's old. It's broken down. Looks like it went to war. I think it's. I think there's like a spear or something impaled. Um, and then as that scene is playing out, Vegapunk is, uh, Vegapunk is all like, No, this island is actually an island of the past. And then he goes on to mention that it's a like it, it it's an island of like i can't even talk because it's so like mind-blowing what happened like wow so it turns out egghead island has features of the ancient kingdom which was from way back in the day we're talking about like 900 years ago is that what, what the chapter said right so this island right here egghead has like and this this is mind-blowing to me because this means that One Piece very well possibly could be a story that takes place in a post-apocalyptic world. And the ancient kingdom that was taken out years ago, that was a highly advanced nation with technology. Um, but whatever happened, for, for whatever reason, no one knows why, for some reason, got taken out. I mean, we know, like, we know why it got taken out, but we don't know why it got taken out. You know what I'm saying? So, the ancient kingdom was very technologically advanced. So advanced. But then, the current One Piece storyline, you see that the technology isn't really there, right? You know, people fight with guns, uh, you know, uh, swords, cannons, you don't see many, you, you don't see machinery or equipment or weapons that uh, could be considered highly advanced technology, like the stuff that we have, you know, today in our current world, you know, in real life. You don't see none of that in One Piece. You just see the most basic weapons. But here we go to Egghead Island. Everything is so futuristic, so advanced, and Vegapunk is all like, no, and this is more of an island of the past rather than the future and then goes on to name drop uh the ancient kingdom so this that's like that's big news because for the longest time we've had so many questions what could the ancient kingdom be what were they all about and now it looks like we're finally going to be able to um get some of those answers because you got to remember robin who is basically the last surviving member of Ohara, right? She is, um, she's part of the group. You know, she's part of the group that is with Vegapunk right now. And her deal is all about finding the mysteries of the ancient kingdom. So there's no doubt that Robin is going to be freaking, like, she's going to be, she's going to take this opportunity to learn everything that she can about, um, from Vegapunk. You know what I'm saying? And... Also, the the robot that Luffy and his crew ran across, right? They stumbled across this big robot. It kind of looks, to me, to me, it looks like it's a, like, a, it looks like Little Ors Jr., you know, like Ors. But at the same time, it kind of gives me some giant vibes. You know what I'm saying? Because the helmet that the suit of armor or this robot has on reminds me of the helmets that the giants wear. So this, and you gotta, you gotta remember, we haven't had many information, uh, we haven't had much information about giants either. 
we know they exist. We've gotten giants in the story. We've interacted with them. But other than Big Mom's side of the story and her history, we have no idea, really. We don't know much about the giants. And Elbaf has been teased for such a long time. It makes me wonder if uh, the ancient kingdom and giants are related. Uh, you could throw ores in there as well. Uh, but there's just so many questions that we have that we might finally get answered. And I know that this is going to be... It's going to be one of those situations where we're going to get answers and at the same time we're going to get more questions. Because that's, that's how things go. And especially with something this massive, we're going to get some questions answered. But that's just going to open the door to so many more questions that we will have after we get some truth revealed. I mean, we really don't even know what the heck the Devil Fruits are. And I know that Oda teased that Vegapunk has those answers. And, uh, you know, we, we got to get the answers in this arc for sure. 100% we're going to get them. Uh, but, you know, I could go on and on forever about what I think is going to happen. Uh, my impressions of last chapter. It was, um, oh, it was a really great chapter. Like, Egghead has been, this is a great arc. Every single chapter is massive. So let me go ahead and jump into the reading and see where this chapter takes us. One Piece chapter 1066, The Will of Ohara. All right, so with the, with the name like this, with the chapter being titled this, we already know some massive truth bombs are going to get revealed. Like this chapter is going to be crazy just with the title like this. I can already tell. All right, cover story. German 66, Cold Blooded Voyage, Volume 23. Returning to Germa with company. Okay, cool. A shock to the whole crew. What are you saying? A futuristic city like this existed in the distant past? This is just conjecture. I once knew a passionate archaeologist who was willing to risk his life to shed light on a certain ancient kingdom. Oh, dang, dude. he's talking about Clover right now. Not only that. But at a certain site, machinery was excavated that dated back to the same era as the kingdom. Are you saying that machinery was created during the void century? You tell me. You know something about this, Robin? No doubt it's a painful, no doubt it's a painful memory, but 22 years ago, your home of Ohara was eradicated by a buster call. I think that happened because Ohara undercovered, uncovered the details of, the, of that kingdom's existence. I believe the history of the Void Century is the history of a conflict, one between an alliance of 20 nations and this forgotten advanced kingdom. The victorious 20 went on to form the world government and shape history as we know it, and to ensure that the ideas of the ancient kingdom wouldn't live on they erased every trace of it from history. What? That's crazy. Is this for real? Whoa, what an epic and romantic tale. Hang on, Vegapunk. You mean everyone who knows about this gets eliminated? Indeed. Then why did you tell us? Yeah, I can't unhear it. Come on, brain, forget. You didn't hear anything. Like I said, this is just conjecture. So tell me, Nico Robin, if I am right. And that discovery is why Ohara was wiped out. You know, it never really did hit me that the crew doesn't know. Because when we got Robin's flashback of her past, uh, it was just playing out for us, the viewer. Robin was remembering. The crew doesn't know, I don't think. No, they don't know the way they reacted. Anyway, um, this is, I guess this is the first time they've heard of it. All right, uh, let's keep reading. So Robin is just kind of sitting there in silence. Excuse me. I gotta take a drink of water there. Okay. Uh, then wouldn't the government's actions be tantamount to a confirmation? Why are you asking about this? The scholars did devise a theory after all their extensive research, but wouldn't someone as high up in the government as you, as you know about it already? I'm afraid government affiliation makes no difference. I'm kept in the dark like everyone else, like everybody else. Even bringing this topic up, up to them would result in my immediate erasure. Then stop telling us. This is just torture. Let us out of here. If that's true, uh, how could you know they were researching that kingdom? All the books and materials were on Ohara, and they were 
the will of Ohara lives on. There's a mention of the wills, well, you know, uh, that get passed on. Okay, so moving on. That day shocked the world. In a single night, Ohara, the island renowned for its love of knowledge, was wiped out, save for one little girl. The scholars were labeled devils, dissidents who plotted to overthrow the government. Dang, look at Robin's face. Painful. A few months after the incident, I paid a visit of my own to the scorched earth of Ohara. I was acquainted with Professor Clover, the foremost authority on archaeology. I figured I should at least leave some flowers for him. You knew Professor Clover? His obsession with the void century fueled his adventurous lifestyle, searching for relevant texts the world over. The Marines incarcerated him on at least 10 occasions. By the time he settled down, he was the world's most famous archaeologist. Over, the, over time, countless scholars were drawn to him, and they all flocked to Ohara. It truly became the holy land of, ar of archaeology. Unfortunately, the aftermath of those talented minds coming together would prove tragic. When I stepped foot on Ohara, even the tree of knowledge had been burned to cinders. I was speechless when I saw it. Yo, dude, this is a crazy silhouette. Look at that. Look at the silhouette. When uh, So th this is Vegapunk, right? This is the true form of Vegapunk, it looks like. What the heck? That, that looks uh, very disproportionate. The heck? Um, is he carrying something? I think he is. Anyway, moving on. Uh, let, let's not focus on that right now. But the lake at the center of the island had been filled with an unbelievable number of books. What in the world? I could only assume that it was the work of the scholars. They must have dedicated their final moments to ensuring that the future had access to their treasure trove of knowledge. If any Marines did discover the books, they were apparently too ignorant to understand their value and left them, uh, left them be. Ohara had triumphed over them. When I realized that, I couldn't stop myself from crying. Please take care of Robin. Make sure she escapes the island. I still have a duty to see, uh, to see here. Mommy, I don't want to leave you. Let me stay too. Save the books. Get the reference material out of the library. Robin, history is our greatest treasure. It must be preserved. We can't just give up on your future. Mommy, be proud, Robin. Your mama's, uh, your mama's an honorable woman. Ohara stood up to the world. And then, dang. Dang, look at Robin's face. She's crying. This is a pain painful memory for her. You helmet-wearing bastard. How dare you make Robin cry? Man, Sanji, get, get, is, I, Sanji needs to calm down sometimes. Like, honestly. Um, I think... Sanji did pull some of the same nonsense uh, when Jinbei was telling the true story of Arlong and the Fishman Pirates to her in Fishman Island. Sanji was kind of annoying in that arc. He, he needs to calm down here. Anyway, moving on. Uh, that's it, Vegapunk. You better release these shoot. Okay, whatever. All right, moving on. Vegapunk. It's just as you said. They came to the same conclusion about the kingdom before the incident. I see. So it's all true. Where are the books from the lake now? I really wanted to take them back to Punk Hazard, but I knew if the top brass ever caught wind, it would be all over. So instead, they were taken by the people I saw that day. Yo, people you saw that day? Okay, flashback time? Hmm? Ohara, West Blue, 22 years ago. A few months after the Buster Call incident. Hmm, someone else is visiting the debris? Giants, dude! I'm telling you! Did I not just say that? Did I not just say that, dude? In, the, in my in my freaking uh, pre, um, pre-discussion of this chapter, I was just mentioning how giants are freaking mysterious as heck and we, we don't know anything about them. All right, so giants. Let's keep reading. Giants. All right, let's pull them up. Who are they? What should I do? Do they have any idea how important those books are? It's been a while, Vegapunk. As usual, that head of yours makes you stand out. Is that you? Oh my gosh, dude. This pet. Oh crap. Yo, okay. This is a big pet. Oh, no, no. Hold up. Hold up. There's too much information here. And we're getting a freak. Okay. Dragon. What are you doing here? 
that's my line. Your head definitely looks like it's gotten a, a, a good bit bigger. A new old man, Clover. Yo, we get a face reveal of Dr. Vegapunk now. The, yo, dude, I was talking about how his body looks so disproportionate. I thought his head was up there. No! That, like, I mean, I thought his face was up there. That's his entire head. Holy dang, dude. His, his face is in the middle of his body. Hold up. Monkey D. Dragon, head of the Freedom Fighters, 33 years old, and Dr. Vegapunk, head of Punk Hazard Laboratory. Uh, what? Thir what? Hold up. No, that can't. Oh, wow. Okay, hold up. Oh, my gosh, dude. You too? I, I know he was once a bit of a hooligan roaming the seas, but all that nonsense about him trying to destroy the world is blatant propaganda. Are you worried about the giants? They're not scavengers. I had a word with them just now. It seems they're from Elbath, and they're fully aware of the value of those books. Their captain was a strange giant, wrapped from head to toe in bandages. Um, what is that, Vegapunk 43 years old? Dang. So in the previous uh, panel, um, the page before this, I kind of got a glimpse. We, you know, we got a glimpse of Vegapunk's face. I didn't catch onto it until now. I don't know why. I, I guess I was just so into the story. Anyway, let's continue with this page. Uh, okay, so giants know the value of these books, uh, they say, and that their captain was a strange giant wrapped from head to toe in bandages. Let's move on. He said Ohara sacrificed itself for those treasures, and he couldn't let them be erased from history. After seeing a government lackey like you lurking about, I'm glad they're here to scope them up and keep them safe. Hey, you knew I'd never. Uh, you, passed, you passed on joining the Freedom Fighters a while ago, but it still made me sick to hear about you becoming one of their lapdogs. Don't be stupid. Your ragtag operation was always too poor. Well, uh, what good are my skills and intellect if I can't actually build anything? I know, I know. You're as blunt as ever. The world government is an insanely huge organization. Is an insanely huge organization. There are plenty of decent people on the... Decent people. On the inside, that can be reasoned with. I read that so wrong. So he's saying, there are plenty of decent people on the inside that can be reasoned with, especially in the Navy. Don't lose sight of the end goal, of the end goal, Dragon. I get it, but I can't just sit back after this. It's too damn much. Okay, so here's the thing. All right, so uh, uh, dang. So Vegapunk and Dragon know each other from way back in the day. Uh, Dragon doesn't have uh, the scars or the, you know, the... His, fa his face is clean. Um, Vega, Vegapunk looks like freaking Megamind right here. His brain, is, like, his head is huge. His brain must be the... Dang, that's where he stores all that knowledge, huh? Holy dang. That's gotta be massive. Oh, <laughs> dang, look at his design. Hey, but you know what? We got a face reveal of Vegapunk, right? Uh, like I said, uh, I've said this many times before, but when it came to Vegapunk's full face reveal, I always thought he was going to be either some generic looking guy or some crazy looking looking guy like Professor Egad from Luigi's Mansion. This is kind of, he's, he's looking pretty wacky to me. Look at his head, look at his face, look at his tongue. What the heck? Um, dang. All right, next page. There's still more to read. Next page. Those harmless scholars were brutally snuffed out just for questioning their authority. It's a farce. I'm going to raise an army that can fight them head on. I thought you hated war. Just watch Vegapunk. I'll change the world. The will, the will of Ohara won't die with Clover. And within a year, he, Emporio Ivankov, uh, <clears throat> and, and Bartholomew, Bartholomew Kuma, Founded the Revolutionary Army, which continue, uh, which continues to shake the world to this day. Wow, Luffy's dad sounds intense. Did you say Elbaf? And here's Usopp. Usopp wants to freaking go to Elbaf. Okay, so Usopp's like, did you say Elbaf? Professor Clover's fate motivated Dragon? My head's gonna blow. Why did Kuma help us? And why did you modify him so much, Vegapunk? Eva? That bastard was one of the founding members of the uh, of the revolutionaries. The books from Ohara certainly couldn't be left to be founded by the government, but my curiosity compelled me to make a discreet trip to Elbaf, where the books were taken, and they allowed me and they allowed me to read each and every one of them. 
Uh, and here we get a panel, like a brief flashback. So this must be the captain of the Giants, wrapped from head to toe in bandages. We can't see a face. Uh, but Vegapunk is with him, okay? In other words, I took everything Ohara uncovered about the world's secrets and memorized it. It's all in my head. And I've continued their research. Dang. That giant captain. Oh! Oh, hold up, hold up. I do it. Okay, dude. I had a feel. Oh, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Look at what Robin just said. Okay, look at what Robin just said. Okay, that giant captain. He's called Saul, isn't he? Why did it? Okay. I knew. I had a suspicion. You can go back and look at the replay. I'm sure. And many like I've I've been reading One Piece. Uh, I've been documenting my One Piece readings from the start. Uh, not from the start, but from the start of Wano, essentially. There have been many points, and even in other discussions, where I had a suspicion uh, that Saul was not dead. Because, here's the thing, dude. Saul got frozen by Aokiji, right? And as we know, Aokiji is kind of like, he's not completely with the government, right? He's like kind of like on the edge, like he, he let Robin go. Um, so he does his job to the government, but he also has this human side to him, definitely, you know. Whereas, like, Akainu and Kizuru, they're like, you know, government, justice. Aokiji wasn't like that. So I always had this feeling that, um, that Saul survived. I always had this feeling. And, wait. Yeah, he's in hiding now, so I can't confirm anything. So he was the captain of the giant pirates, and he is alive. So he's in hiding, Vegapunk is confirming. He's in hiding now. Uh, well, he's a crap dude. Okay. But like I said, that wasn't outside the realm of possibility because all we saw was, uh, uh Robin may, uh, sorry, Aokiji made a way for, uh, uh, for Robin to escape Ohara, right? We don't know what happened with Saul. He got frozen over. That's what we were shown. He got frozen over. That doesn't mean dead because as we saw, uh, at one point, Robin was frozen over by Aokiji, right? And she didn't die. She just had to be defrosted very carefully so she wouldn't, like, break, essentially. So... This, so, you know, I never suspected Saul to be dead because we didn't get a full body confirmation. You know, we didn't see a body. We saw him freeze over, but Aokiji could easily undo that and freaking take him into hiding. And it looks like that might be the case. And freaking Robin crying tears of joy, dude. This makes me so happy. This makes me so happy, dude. Thank you, Dr. Vegapunk. Thank you for not letting Ohara's sacrifice be in vain. I try to help progress every field of thought possible. It's my nature as a scholar. Oh, man, dude. What? The shoes are moving on their own. I can't release you just yet. Follow me. There's something I want to show you. There's more? Junkyard. Egghead's fabrication stratum. Chopper. There's no way to get in. Oh, it must be the type uh, that moves on its own. Move. Move, Robo. Does it need a special command? Maybe we've got to just say its name. Move. Uh, I like it, was, uh, of course. Yeah, I love how this was Luffy's go-to. Move, Robo Nosuke. Move, Robo King. You guys are such kids. Ain't no way it's moving. Oh, dang, it's moving. What? The robot's going to blow. Oh, maybe it's not moving. It might be self-destructing. Uh, the robot's going to blow. Next page. Save me. Uh, no, no, wait, what the heck? No good, another debacle. Somebody, please save me. Uh, per, uh perhaps time, space... Sorry, I, I'm just so hyped. I, I'm, I, I'm so hyped, I'm having trouble reading, man. Alright, perhaps space, time, bent, mid, warp. What the? There's a guy like Kinemon here? I'm sinking. I've gotcha, sorry. It's him. Much obliged, you're Dragon's boy, right? I knew you'd come. Good job on making it. Oh my, Bonnie, dear me, you sure have gotten big. What? Old man, are you floating? It's splendid to see you full of vigor. Vegapunk. Dang, you can float too, you know. Those uh, those Dom shoes you're wearing have a nifty uh, hover function. What? See here, press the button on the side and grab the lever. And give it a big old push, like this. That's the way. Yo, yo. Yo, <sighs> we've flown too far. Save us, Quasar. Quasar, Quasar. The humble genius appears. 
Dr. Vegapunk, the man with the biggest brain in the world, leader of the Navy's SSG Special Science Group. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the end of chapter 1066. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude. <sighs> what can I say, dude? This was probably the best chapter I have read since freaking, what was it, 1044, 1045 when um, uh, Luffy's Awakening happened, you know, Nika, Joy Boy, all that stuff. I believe it was that chapter, give or take. This was by far the best chapter I've read since then, and that was like the beginning of this year. Not only that, but chapter 1066, this chapter we just read, possibly one of the best chapters in the entire series, and I know I just reacted to it, you know, I just read it, my first impressions, but I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that this is within, at least right now, I, I, I have got to put this chapter down as a top five for me, and I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding, dude. This chapter was incredible. Holy moly, dude. So much information. I'm glad. Okay, look. I I'm so thankful to Oda, and I'm so glad that he continued, um, that he gave us all the information that we wanted to know about. And I'm sure there's still more because the crew is right now headed with, Be uh, with Vegapunk somewhere because he wants to show them something, right? So... But, but beyond that, let's forget about that for a second. Oda could, could have easily teased um, the Ancient Kingdom last chapter and then kind of uh, made this chapter, you know, use that as a cliffhanger and then this chapter could have had nothing to do with it, right? But no, he delivered 100%. This guy delivered, Oda. He delivered. This is by far one of the best chapters I have ever read in One Piece and... Uh, am I, is it an, is it an exaggeration to say it's one of the best chapters I've read in any type of manga, uh, as a whole? Maybe, but I honestly, that's the way I feel right now. That's the way I feel, and that's how good this chapter is, dude. Unbelievable amount of information. <laughs> like, dude, I was, holy moly, dude. like... Like, honestly, I'm so hyped up. I felt like I just, I don't know, like I went for a freaking mile run or something. I don't know, but like, holy moly, dude. We got so many truth bombs. We got so many reveals. Vegapunk face reveal. Dragon's known him since way back in the day. Um, and uh, I was going to say, uh, the, the important thing here is that... Uh, I love how Vegapunk said that he found the books in the lake, but because the um, because the frickin' the, the 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 Marines, the government, they weren't smart enough. They just saw the books and they were like, "eh, just just leave them there." But at the same, that's that's kind of a dumb thing to do because you you figure this whole this kingdom, Ohara, right? This country was known as the kingdom of knowledge, right? Right. So it, it was the kingdom of knowledge. That's their thing. They were trying to uncover the dark arts, the secrets of the entire world, things that are banned. And the Marines didn't look at the books and were like, you know, these might be important. Let's let's just, let's just burn them. Let's 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 destroy it. No, they didn't understand the value of them. I love this line. It's uh, Vegapunk is all like, they were too ignorant to understand their value and left them. Ohara had triumphed over them. That's it. Simply because they didn't take the books. That, that's all it took. Their knowledge was left behind untouched. That's all it took for Ohara to, to basically triumph over the government, dude. I love this line, too. He, Vegapunk is all, you know, I couldn't stop myself from crying. I wish we could have seen that scene. Wait, I think we did. I don't know. Hold on. Let me see the panel here. Uh, he's not crying in the panel, but anyway, I think that's so nice. Um, and then, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, and then he goes on to say, uh, 
they were, they, you know, taken by people I saw that day. And then West Blue, you get a flashback. Someone else is visiting. And then oh, Vegapunk's like, Giants? Yeah, Giants. All right. And, uh... No, but that's what I'm saying, right? That's what I said in the beginning of this reading. Giants, they have to know a lot. They have to know a lot. We haven't gotten anything, not much depth to their race, their story. We got the bit in Little Garden. We got the bit in Water 7, Annie's Lobby. We got the story with Big Mom. But we haven't gotten a full rundown on why the Giants are you know you know what they are how much they know and things of that nature but now we know a lot more than we ever did prior to this chapter so what is their con like it, you know this gives more fuel to the theory that the last poneglyph is on elbath and it makes sense because we've been elbath has been in in the story mentioned since the very beginning right elbath we're gonna go to elbath usopp comes along he wants to be a strong warrior he wants to go to elbath everywhere you look it's like we get mentions of giants but we never get to interact with them except for a little little bit here and there but not much the elbath has got to be the next destination like it, it's the logical choice after egghead that's crazy man wow Wow, wow, wow. And you know what? Their captain was a strange giant wrapped from head to toe in bandages. When Vegapunk said this line, it didn't even occur to me that he might have been referring to Saul. And then we get a glimpse of him a couple pages later here. Um, his face is covered in shadow. You know, it's blacked out. But they did a good job. Like, I don't... Uh, maybe some other people will catch... Uh, we'll catch that it's Saul based on this panel right here, the silhouette. I didn't catch it because I was just so into the story. This It was so good. I was hooked. I was reading. I saw the panel. I was like, dang, this must be the giant, the captain. And then it turns out Robin is like that giant captain he's called Saul. Dang, so Saul is like... Is my memory failing me? Because, um... Was Saul established as the captain of the giant pirates back in the day when we met him? I don't think he was because I think at the time he was uh, he was a marine admiral, a uh, vice admiral, or something along those lines. He he was with the government, right? He was with the government, and yeah, I don't think it's ever been. It was established back then that uh, that Saul was the captain of the giant pirates. If it was, I completely forgot, but I don't think, I don't think it was. Because this hit me like a freaking, jeez, I don't know, this hit me like a freaking ton of bricks or something. Like, this is just, this panel, like when Saul being the one, oh my, he survived. Absolutely incredible panel, holy crap. And now, the real Dr. Vegapunk is face-to-face -face with Luffy, Chopper, Jinbei, and Bonnie. Now, this is going to be interesting because Luffy, um, Luffy is Luffy, right? He doesn't care about the news. He doesn't read. You know, he, he just vibes. And he just vibes and takes things on as they, as they come. Chopper, on the other hand, we know that he is a doctor. Chopper wants to cure, uh, you know, his, when he was, one of his goals is to cure even a country. Uh, he's a doctor. He wants to save lives. He wants the best for people, for everybody. Jinbei, he knows a lot more than we think. I mean, Jinbei has proven how much he knows many times before. And I, I want to see him interact with Vegapunk as well. Bonnie, as we know, Bonnie has a history with uh, Vegapunk, um, Kuma's daughter. So maybe we will finally get an explanation as to why Kuma is the way he is, why he did that, why he volunteered, whatever the heck. I do got to say, though, um, 
Vegapunk looks different now. He's not. He doesn't have the freaking massive tall brain that he did in the flashback with Dragon just now. It looks like he has a freaking apple on top. Anyway, look here. All right, look here. Look here. What a chapter. That, that, like, that's really all I can say. Like, what a chapter. Vegapunk has an interesting design. Why is his tongue like that? All right, so little commentary here post editing. Uh, Vegapunk's design. I'm going to be completely honest, I had no idea what it was referring to, even though when I looked at him, it looked familiar. So what I did was I consulted with a very smart person who does not read or watch One Piece, and I showed, I described the design of Vegapunk to her, and she was all like, oh, that's a reference to Albert Einstein the picture with his tongue sticking out and also the apple on his head is a reference to Isaac Newton I was like what really and then she was all like yeah apparently um, the story goes that an apple fell on his head and that's how he discovered gravity I was like oh my geez like what the heck if that was a thing in science back in the day in school I completely glanced over that and did not retain this bit of trivia in my head because I honestly did not know but now that I know uh, the inspiration for Vegapunk's design you know pretty smart by Oda very clever it's one of those things where we probably should have expected Vegapunk to look this way like it was right in our face yet nobody saw it coming I don't know it was, I just it's crazy but yeah, now I know. What a chapter. What a chapter. You know what? Saul is alive. He's a member of the D family, right? His name is Jaguar D. Saul. This makes me wonder. You know, and Saul, I think Saul was the one to tell the readers, you know, he essentially told Robin and us essentially i'm pretty sure it was him that he doesn't know what the d in his name means but that there are many of them so there there's got to be other giants with the initial d in their name and we oh my god dude we got to get an L bath real quick. And what's the deal with Loki? Because I know uh, Big Mom wanted Lola, Lola to marry Loki. We got a glimpse of him. Is he going to be important in the story? Maybe, probably. I feel like I feel like when it comes to L bath, anything that happens in that arc related to it, or even anything that's related to it, it's going to be key to the story. That's crazy to me. Oh my gosh. What a chapter. Now we gotta wait a week. I mean, we always wait a week, but dang. Wow. That's crazy. That like, I'm just going in circles right now. This is an insane chapter. One Piece is amazing. Anyway. That's gonna do it for our reading of chapter 1066. What a chapter, like I said. Unbelievable. Let me know what y'all thought about this chapter. This was an incredible chapter. Like, I'm a, I'm a broken record at this point, just saying the same thing over and over again. That's how good this was. Can't wait for next week. So, like I said, that's going to do it for my reading of chapter 1066 of One Piece. Hope you guys enjoyed. If anyone here is new, subscribe to my YouTube. Turn on notifications so you know when I upload new content. And other than that, I hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe out there. Take care. And I will see you in the next one.